Hi first graders, happy Monday. We are gonna get started with a little bit of math tonight. Today we're talking about problems with three add-ins. And so add-ins is a word that I've been using quite a bit this year. So um, let's just review. When you're, we're talking about an add-in, we're talking about a number that is added to another number. So that when you see the word add, that means that we're adding or putting numbers together. So add-ins are just the numbers that we're adding together tonight. So tonight we're gonna to use three add-ins, which is something a little bit different. We haven't really done that yet. So let me give you a couple examples and then you're gonna do some for homework, okay? So the first one, if I said, I have three red flowers, two yellow flowers, and seven orange flowers, how many flowers do I have? So I can solve that in a couple different ways. First, I could just draw out, I wanna draw out um, what I just stated. So I had three red flowers and two yellow flowers and seven orange flowers. So I need to know how many flowers I have all together. I want you to notice this problem and what I want you to look for tonight is first, Find two numbers that you can make a 10 with. Because we all know when we make groups of numbers, like group things in groups of fives or in groups of 10, it makes it so much easier to solve a math problem. We're always looking for patterns in numbers. So do you see two numbers here that would make a 10? Awesome, yeah, I do too. I see three and seven. So I know if I take those two numbers and put them together, those are gonna equal 10 for me. So I'm just gonna put that down here. What number do I have left? Right, two. So now I have 10 plus two, and we can do that really easy. What is 10 plus two? Awesome, 10 plus two is 12. So I know that three plus two plus seven equals 12. Okay, so let's do one more practice. So if I have six maple leaves and two oak leaves and three elm leaves, how many leaves do I have in all? Okay, so can I make a 10 this time? I have six, I have two, and then three. Is there an easy way to make 10? Not exactly, it's not totally standing out. So this time I might just wanna draw a picture to help me solve this problem. I know that two plus three is five, so one, there's two, and there's three, then I could just draw my six circles over here. Three, four, five, six. And I could count them up. Five, here's a group of five, so I'm just gonna start with that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I know that I have 11 total leaves. Okay, so here's a peek at your homework sheet. You should have this in front of you now. If you don't, you can pause and grab it really quick. The directions read, ring the 10 partners, then find the total. Okay, so each problem is two steps. So I'm gonna be looking for you to be doing what I see in this first problem here. So seven plus two plus eight, they, draw, or they drew, excuse me, drew a ring around two plus eight because that equals 10 and they wrote the 10 partner above it. Now I can easily add 10 plus seven and what's 10 plus seven? Awesome, it's 17, okay? So for every one of these other problems, I need to see a ring to show me that you made a 10 and then add your 10 plus your remaining add-in to get your total. Okay, I thought it might be kind of fun for me to give you a secret message in your homework tonight. So tomorrow when you come to school, I want you to walk in 
and do three jumping jacks at your chair before you hang up your backpack. So I'm going to be watching to see if you remembered what I asked you to do. Three jumping jacks at your chair before you hang up your backpack. And if I see you do it, I'm going to give you an extra dojo point. Have a super night. Make sure you remember to bring this homework sheet tomorrow morning and turn it into me.